Recently there had been some discussion with other riders about what they carry, especially on really long rides. Uh, it's taken me a while to get to what I have, so I thought I'd go through it and uh, see if someone can learn something helpful from what I'm doing or maybe suggest something better to me. This is my main, what I call my bike wallet. Um, it's designed, it's got a it's got webbing for attaching to various military type packs or whatever, but I don't use that. Could probably cut it off, but I haven't done that yet. Um, we'll just start from the outside, in the main pocket here. I have the Crank Brothers multi-tool. It's a pretty popular one. I'm not gonna go through all the tools, other people have done that. It's good enough for me. Um, I have my Dynaplug racer tool for the tubeless tires. We have a large plug here for the larger punctures and a small one with a sharper tip for the smaller punctures. And that's refillable. I have refills for that. It goes in this little pen pocket on the outside of this pack. Then uh, I do have asthma, so in case that flares up, usually in the heat, I've got my inhaler. I should leave all this stuff out as I go, I think. My inhaler. Uh, sleeve for CO2, so it doesn't freeze my fingers. Spare pair of contacts in case there's a problem with my glasses or contacts. So a CO2 inflator, I've gone through a lot of models. Fortunately, I don't use it much anymore. This one works, which is more than I can say for some of them. CO2 cartridge, I do buy these on eBay in bulk. Quite a lot cheaper than buying them at a bike shop. <clears throat> I have a Band-Aid, a couple of Band-Aids here in a little plastic bag. Tire gauge. Some people think this is excessive to carry. Maybe it is. Um, in the past, when I had a lot of flats before I went to tubeless, I found it pretty useful, um, especially because you really don't want to overinflate tires and damage a rim. And then this is something I fortunately never had to use, but it is an emergency spoke replacement with a cord and the instructions. And I've never used it, but I have read through the instructions a few times. I think you can find some videos of how to use it online, too. Hopefully never have to use that. I have had a broken spoke, uh, but never one that stranded me. So that's it for the, the main pocket here. Then in the back pocket, got some cash. Always important on the road, in case you need to load up on supplies at a gas station. Uh, that is one strategy, even in the time of COVID, that I use to avoid having to carry too much, is plan my stops, know where I can stop and get stuff. Put the cash there. I have this thing, Micro Rocket. Forget who makes it, Topeak, Topeak, looks like. Um, this is a very small pump. It takes 100 and 50 to 2, I think I want to say I counted 200 pumps to get a normal 20, 700 by 25 tire up to pressure, but um, when you're out of CO2, it's better than not having anything. Definitely saved my butt and that of people I've ridden with before. Got the emergency toilet paper in a plastic bag. Fortunately, never had to use that either. Some Tylenol extra strength instead of ibuprofen. Um, ibuprofen is known to cause leaky gut issues, especially during endurance activities. Um, I'd usually tie a bandana around my neck these days, the time of COVID, but I have a spare cloth mask in here just in case I forget. I should probably just put a disposable one, a disposable surgical mask in here. I do have some. Uh, it'd be smaller, a little bit lighter, and then I wouldn't have to worry about if I had to get rid of it. Some CR2032 batteries, everything on the bike <clears throat> that isn't rechargeable runs on those. These tire levers, Schwab tire levers, I uh, got these at someone's suggestion, or Schwab, I don't know how you say it, got these at someone's suggestion when I had an issue with some very tight tires. Uh, the Conti 5000s I run tubeless on 
Mavic rims are pretty tight. Fortunately, I haven't had to change them in the field. These are what I use when I change them at home too, uh, because especially for removal, you can use this mechanism to clip them to the rim and hold the tire in position as you work it off the rim at the very end. Nice and flat too. I like things that pack flat. Oop. One more cash. Okay, I got a larger band-aid, a tire boot, emergency tire boot, and my old USA cycling card, um, which has a roadside assistance number on it. And then, <clears throat> last but not least, my repair stuff. I have quite a lot of stuff in here. I recently got these little baggies to sort it better. I guess I'll go through this real quick. I have chain links, the quick links or whatever you call it for the few different kinds of bikes that I ride. It's not a lot of extra weight and that way I don't ever forget any of them. Got vulcanizing compound for patching a tube. Even though I ride tubeless, I do carry a spare tube and if that gets punctured, I'm going to need to patch it. I have the patches and the little scratcher that go with the two, the uh, vulcanizing patches. Various valve stems, these are for my deeper section wheels. Probably don't need to carry this all the time, but again, if I don't, I'm afraid I'll end up forgetting it the one time I do need it. I've got an empty bag in here, I don't know why. A couple empty bags, almost like I did that on purpose. Got some extra Dynaplug or Dynaplug plugs for that racer device, just the small ones. And I have a utility key, which looks like a key. It's got a small screw, couple small screwdrivers, a knife, and most importantly, a bottle opener on it. Very useful uh, if you have to pick something out of a tire. I've used the tip of that for that before. Uh, piece of tire wire or something that you can't grab. Always handy to have a little blade. So that's the main main wallet. And then this is my tube wallet for my road bike. Keep a charged spare battery for the ETAP system in there for my shifters. Keep a charging cable for my cell phone. And then my cleat plugs, speed plate cleat plugs for the walkable aero cleats. And finally, a tube that I have deflated and rolled up as much as I can, I think. Yeah, this is wrapped the way I wrap them. So, a tube that's been deflated and rolled up tightly and uh, that lives in there. Now when I take the bike and I've got the gravel tires and the gravel wheels on it, I have a different one. I have this bag. I don't need the cleat plugs for that. Uh, I do have some extra CO2 since they're larger. And I just have the tube in there. This is a silicone Ziploc bag and I just fold that up and stuff it in my jersey pocket. For real long rides, I've got this frame bag. I got on Amazon, I think. Key things I have in here. Uh, this is the USB cable that I run from my Garmin battery pack at the front of the bike to the tail light in the back to keep it running for really long rides. And it's it's got a bunch of Velcro here. This is the Velcro I use to attach it to the frame. So this just gets stored in this bag when I'm not doing super long rides. I've got some locally made hand sanitizer, another nod to the time of COVID. I have to stop, that way I can sanitize my hands. I have an entire spare tire, and wrapped around it is my auto lock, which is not a fantastic bike lock, not like what I would use in Baltimore, where I'd lock my bike and go into a store for 30 minutes, but it is definitely good enough to keep someone from grabbing your bike and throwing it in the back of their pick-em-up truck and driving off while you're inside a gas station getting a coffee. 
So uh, it just works off a combination and then uh, it, you can wrap it around your frame and something else. Hopefully keep the bike a little bit secure. Seems I got some leftover cliff blocks. Those don't actually live in here. And then a variety of cable ties. These are great for in the field fixes. I got reusable ones here and the non-reusable ones and a few different lengths and thicknesses and the idea is always, if something really bad happens, what's it going to take to get me home? Cable ties are great for that. That's it. Happy to take any questions or suggestions on uh, what I'm carrying, what I should be carrying. I'll try and put together a list of links to some of the more interesting stuff to buy off Amazon or, or wherever else in case people are interested. Thanks for watching.